So hello everyone and welcome to our weekly webinar that we conduct. And today's webinar is all about Oxylos Adivate Scholarship Program. We have with us our guest for the day, Mr. Neeraj, who is the CEO of uh, Oxylo Pinsor Private Limited. Also, we have with us Mr. Ashish Cha, Chief Content Strategist at Buddy for Study, and Mr. Nipun Grover, Program Lead Operations at Buddy for Study. So welcome everyone. Thank you, Shruti. Yeah, so uh, I'll just uh, uh, give it over to Ashish, sir, to please take it further, sir. Thank you, Shruti. Yeah. So, uh, uh, hi, everybody. So, th this is this is regarding a specific, very specific scholarship program that uh, we have launched recently. And we are privileged to have Mr. Uh, Neeraj Saxena here, who will be talking about uh, the objective behind this program and uh, what, what is the importance of this scholarship program in, in the CSR work that uh, Auxilio is doing. Yeah, so I would, uh, uh, Mr. Saxena, can you please? Sure, sure. Thank, thanks, Ashish, thank you. Uh, so just to give an introduction about Auxilio, Auxilio is a uh, educa education loan company operating in this space from last four years. Uh, we have a vision of enabling education ecosystem as a whole, you know, and supporting students uh, while, while doing so. Main segments of our business are that we, we mainly focus on student loans, where we support students in, their, in achieving their dreams. And we also enable uh, uh, schools, schools in rural areas and affordable schools, uh, to, to say, you know, which require any support to enhance the infrastructure for the betterment of the students who are studying there. We have been doing this for the last four years, and uh, we have a team of uh, uh, 200 uh, individuals with us. COVID recently has been a big hit for the uh, last one and a half, two years in the students' life as well. You know, we, we see that in you know, a lot of lot many schools, we staying in Metro are more, more privileged to actually have online learning as a goal. But I see in a lot of schools in rural areas, online learning is not a possibility. And I think you know, the whole system has got a great setback. Uh, even same applies for higher education as well, you know. Uh, so so the, the, coming to the objective of this program, actually, uh, we have been, and myself, I have been working in the education stream for last uh, almost 10 years now. And before this, I was also working in education loans only, which was supporting uh, Indian youth to aspire for bigger horizons, whether they study in India or abroad. Uh, so the, this program, Edivate, is a CSR initiative from our side where which is which is actually very synergized to our core values and beliefs and and our business as well you know because we we are in education and we support youth uh, to enhance their careers uh, but i'm sure there's a there's a huge section which is which is not getting included by only uh, loans support because maybe they are not coming in the stream to take loans you know they are they're not they're getting rejected in loan companies etc cetera, etc cetera. right right so, so so we wanted to actually uh, run a program which is uh, supporting uh, students to enhance further studies, uh, you know, and that segment, especially which is not which is not so privileged to get loans and study in premium institutes in India or abroad. So with it, with that objective, this program is being launched. I would say that this is just a, a first year for us, and as as we as we go forward, uh, along with Buddy for Study, I think we will take this pro this program to newer heights. And in eventually, I think next coming three years, I think there'll be a much larger section of students uh, whom we'll be able to cover through this program. That's right. what the aspiration I have. And uh, okay, so Mr. Saxena, yeah. this program is specifically for COVID-affected students. Now, what is what is the thought behind that? Uh, so, so, so actually, uh, as I as I told you, because I have, we are the same industry and we are seeing students. And we take a lot of lot many loan applications which are getting affected, you know, which are which are people who wanted to study abroad or study in higher education in India. But COVID has given a setback in terms of the family income streams, you know. I I see a lot of students having uh, parents have lost their job, and you know, a lot of many things happening, right? So because of that factor, I think uh, the 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 future aspiration is getting compromised, right? So ma so our objective is very clear that you know whether wherever we can support. Uh, the future aspiration is taken care of, you know, and that, that's, I think, that's very, very much required for individuals and as a whole for the country as well, right? So if you see, uh, we have products which are, for loans per se, we have products where we, if, even if the parents are not having enough income right now, but if the student right. is right, 
we support the students you know for this higher studies on the on the premise that once he studies he'll pay back uh, the loan to us and we'll be further able to lend it you know to other people right similarly i think this program i think though because the first year maybe the the kitty is smaller for us right now we are trying to fund uh, students who are who are in most dire need of the same and as we move forward ashish i think this program will enhance to a much higher level where lot many more and more students will be part of this program definitely definitely uh, we we are in fact privileged to launch this program on our platform and will be uh, helping students with application support and and everything that is required to uh, towards uh, applying for this scholarship program so uh, thank you mr saxena for uh, for uh, sharing with us the objective of this scholarship program uh, so shruti now coming back to uh, what this scholarship program is all about mm -hmm. what is the eligibility criteria benefits what are yes, the documents sir. that you uh, that any student require mm -hmm. so uh, i will first introduce uh, uh, these uh, nitty gritties of this scholarship program yes. and then probably uh, my colleague nipun uh, here can uh, also show as to how the application process uh, will uh, is is there for this program and how the students uh, if uh, if there is any challenge or any doubt students have they can uh, probably then have a question and answer session uh, here right towards the end of this program right sir so uh, we have already started receiving user queries on our comment section so we will be taking up towards the end of this session uh, i would request you to please proceed with the eligibility and other details of this scholarship right right yeah. so uh, so first uh, uh, talking about the eligibility criteria of this scholarship program as mr saxena also uh, shared that this program is specifically for those students uh, who have either of the two conditions first uh either they have lost their parents or earning family members uh since the outbreak of covid in in january 2020 or uh they have uh, the the earning fam family members uh the the earning members in the family of the students have lost their job during the pandemic uh, as as we all know economic uh, activities slow down uh, and uh the unemployment level have gone up and and that has affected many students so these two any of these two criteria if if you are facing uh, if any student is facing financial crisis for any of these two reasons then obviously uh, they should be applying for this uh, scholarship program uh, now this scholarship program is divided into two parts first is for those students who are uh, studying from class 9 to 12 and the second program is, the second is uh, those students studying in either graduation or post graduation so uh, why these two sub categories under this program is because the scholarship amount also varies for uh, students who are in these two ranges who who study in these two uh, class levels so for students who are uh, from class 9 to 12 uh, they can avail a scholarship amount of rupees 24000 uh, this is a fixed amount uh, that that they can get under this program and for graduation and post graduation students uh, if they fall in this category and they are eligible for this scholarship they can uh, get a scholarship amount of rupees 30000 under this scholarship program yeah. now they uh, there is another eligibility criteria that the annual income of the applicant should be less than rupees 6 lakh so uh, this is very important uh, when when you uh, just go through this application form and and if you make up your mind to apply for this scholarship application you need to ensure that you you fall in this category like uh, if you have 6 lakh or less income then only you are eligible to apply for this uh, uh, scholarship program obviously the the employees of auxilo is this is a csr program so they are not eligible for this uh, uh, scholarship program now uh, for, uh, when when you fill up this scholarship form uh, a few documents are required obviously nipil will be uh, detailing all those things uh, for example you need your mark sheet just to prove that you are uh, continuing your education you need need to have an identity proof uh, also you need to upload these documents 
so th these are the things you must uh, uh, be taking care uh, before applying to this program you you must have these certificates with you or documents related to for example income certificate is very important so you must be having a document which proves that your annual income is less than rupees 6 lakh and my colleague nipun will answer and and uh, specify which documents would be uh, accepted as proof of the income level or or the family income yeah yes shruti you nipun please uh, provide us the details about how the students must proceed with the application and what are the documents required for this scholarship application over to you nipun Sure, sure, Shruti. Thank you so much, Shruti, and thank you so much, Asi, for introducing all this uh, scholarship program, and thank you, Mr. Neeraj, for uh, your comments as well. So I will now be, uh, would like to share my screen so that I can show the steps of uh, how to apply for this application. Majorly, all our regular users are aware about the registration process and everything, but I will still uh, like to show to the to new users how they can apply for this scholarship. Uh, Shruti, I hope my screen is visible to you and to everyone. Yes, 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 Nipun, your screen is visible. Thank you. So uh, the, the scholarship, uh, you just have to click uh, login to buddyforstudy.com, our website address. And on the homepage, there are homepage banners are available. On the second banner, you can see Oxilo scholarship, right? So just uh, we need to scroll down and uh, as eligibility criteria and everything uh, is just informed by Mr. Ashish. So you can please read out all the eligibility criteria, loss of parents since January, 2020, any family member lost their employment during the pandemic. So there are a lot of uh, document related questions are there for this particular uh, uh, category. I will clear all the doubts, right? Now, uh, after that, you can see the benefits of the scholarship program. Uh, from class 9 to 12 is 24,000, graduation, post-graduation, 30,000. This is the main uh, information which a student has to take care before you start filling up the application form. You should be clear about the kind of documents you need, you require. So pre mark sheet of previous education degree, right? So if a student is in class 11th, the then student has to present the mark sheet of class 10th. Right? And the current proof of uh, current education academic proof of class 11. This way we'll be able to identify that the student is continuously studying and there is no gap in between the education. Right? And for government identity proof, Aadhaar card, Aadhaar card is required to check, uh, is basically required to check the relationship because there uh, we need uh, like the student have if if student has lost their parents to check the relationship between uh, father and the son or the daughter. So we need uh, uh, the proof, and for that we need Aadhaar card and crisis document. So if uh, you have lost somebody has lost the uh, parent, so we need that certificate, right? So that certificate is uh, already uh, issued by the government of India. So that certificate you uh, the student has to upload and proof of job loss. So here I would like to inform you there are a lot of uh, categories, right? So uh, if if you have somebody has uh, like layoff, if somebody some parents has been laid, laid off from the organization due to pandemic, and we have seen so many news uh, coming up that particular company has laid off 2000 employees, 500 employees. So that laid off letter, uh, they have to uh, present, right? That uh, and uh, and we'll be checking that uh, during the interview that th this crisis is currently continued or they have they have uh, joined back to the uh, good or different organization that can be interviewed and checked later on. But you have to show the proof. And if some someone's uh, parents were daily wage worker and they lost their uh, daily wage uh, earning, then they have to present a notarized document. The student parents will go to a notary or a court nearby and they will uh, provide us a notarized document stating that during the pandemic they face such issues and a job loss or an employment loss and that shall, that shall be stamped and signed by 
uh, notarized people and notary stamp. So that will be considered and reference from someone who knows the uh, family crisis so that we can reach out to them. It, uh, it can be a school teacher, doctor, head of school, college or a government officer. And bank passbook as the amount will directly go to the applicant's account. So we need a student's bank passbook. If student is minor, less than 18 years old, then parent's passbook is acceptable. And photograph, uh, passport size photograph, we also require that. Then after reading out and uh, collecting these documents at your system, you can just click on apply now button. There are uh, two ways to log in with your mobile number, Google account or email ID. And if you are a registered user, if not, you can click, please click on register button and uh, register yourself first. So I'm a registered user, I'll just show how uh, we can further proceed. Just. Once you click on apply now button, there will be a new page. Some instructions are still again there so that you can read out the uh, instructions again and then click on start application button. Once you click on start application, then there will be an application form in front of you. A uh, special notification is there. Please fill the form and click. Uh, the, the form cannot be edited or deleted after save now button. So you need to be very careful before uh, uh, final submission of this application form, right? So the student will fill, uh, there are four uh, columns, uh, the personal details, then education details, family member details and documents. So in the person details, student will fill first name, last name, email ID and other information, then click on save now button. And then you have to fill your education detail. In education detail, you have to fill your current education and previous class education details. Current education in which uh, school or college you are pursuing your graduation or the studies and uh, the uh, previous class, how much did you score and what was the uh, school name, course, stream, everything you have to mention here. I'm sorry, Shruti, I'm facing some technical issues. I'm stopping this uh, screen sharing. No problem. You can just brief us about all the sections that what all has to be done in these sections. And sure, sure. Yeah. So education detail, as I informed you, your student has to fill the education details here. Then family member uh, details. Here we have to fill the earning family member. As we know, somebody has lost uh, the parents or uh, a family member. So whosoever is there within the family, so they have to write the name, their occupation, their uh, how much they are earning in a year. And then all the documents which I, I just had shown you on that page, they have to upload all those documents here and the bank details. All this in information a student has to upload in this particular form and click on save now preview once you preview your application and submit the application and as yeah. so one one important thing thing. i would like to add what kipun has said bank details are very important because under this scholarship program the scholarship amount will be directly transferred to scholars or account account number whichever is provided either it could be student's account number or their parents account number so that has to be very accurate because there is no intermediary. A scholarship amount will be directly transferred into the bank account of the beneficiaries. Uh, yes. Shruti, you are on mute. Yeah, thank you so much, Nipun, for giving us brief about the application process and everything. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to know, like, is there any helpline number uh, through which the students or the applicants can connect with us? If they have yes, any queries, yes. yeah, please can you just share it with us? I'll just share the screen again. And the helpline number and email ID is there. Our team is working, uh, will answer your query during the official ask. Thank you. 
right? And I'll just present this screen. This is the helpline number for Oxylo scholarship. You just have to add on this landline number and enter 267, which is the uh, scholarship code for Oxylo 267. And our team is there to help you and support you for any queries related to Oxylo scholarship. Yeah. Uh, the helpline is active uh, on Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and if in case you are facing any technical, sometimes uh, some face any kind of issues, so they can take a screenshot or write us on the uh, Oxylo Scholarship at BuddyFirstStudy.com. Okay, so uh, uh, I have a few questions as well. Uh, we have user questions as well. One more sure. question, like you mentioned about the documents, right, Nipun? So is there any particular format or size of the document that is required that has to be uploaded? Yes, the document should be in PDF or JPG format and the size of the document should be less than one. All right, all right. So let's uh, take up the user queries that we are getting. The One of our users, Sunny Singla has asked, Sir, is this is for 12 students? Yes, yes. This scholarship is for 12 students. They are eligible. Yeah, so, but, but besides this, there, there are other eligibility criteria as well that they have to fulfill, right? Correct. So he's Correct. also asking, sir, what's actual motive behind this scholarship? So actual motive, Mr. Neeraj has just explained to all of us, right? Yeah. Oxilo as an organization is helping those students who are facing such crisis, lost their parents, and they're facing challenge to continue their studies. So actual motive is students should not drop out and they should continue their studies. Uh, Kamlesh is asking, like, what are the documents required? I think he has missed the, the document fall apart. You can please brief uh, it again. So, Kamlesh, I will request you to please visit Buddy for Study and Oxylo Scholarship page. There is uh, uh, all the documents are mentioned there. You can read out. If you have any query, please reach out to our customer support. All right. So uh, one more question that I had, uh, Nipun, is that like, when is the last date to apply for the scholarship? This is very important, actually. Yes, yes. So last date to apply for this scholarship is 15th of December. Please mm -hmm. before that mm -hmm. and try to submit their form. Uh, I'll say do not wait for the last day, right? You may mm -hmm. out some documents. Uh, you don't know you have prepared the documents or not. Try, just start filling up the form right now. Check mm -hmm. all the doc required documents, collect your documents, and then start filling up the form as soon as possible. All right. Can you also elaborate, like, how will the scholars be selected for this scholarship? Like, what is the, once the students submit, student submits the application, what is the next step? Sure. Yeah. So, uh, Shruti, was, what happens is once the uh, students submit the application form, mm -hmm. uh, our, team, our team is there who will annually up, uh, see each and every document because documentation is a very much a part part mm -hmm. so open your document whatever you're uploading in the system they will check your documents and verify whether the documents are correct as per our requirement as per the scholarship requirement or not once your documents are correct you are so you'll be uh, taken to the next round right which will which will be a telephonic interview round so we have our dedicated group team who will, call, who will call you these students, the applicants who are shortlisted after the document verification and they will uh, ask some few questions, the general questions, questions related to their academic performance, their, uh, what, uh, what their aspirations, what kind of crisis they are facing right now because this scholarship is particularly related to crisis. So they will be uh, talking to, to the students more about the crisis and then the final selection part. All right, so thank you so much, Nipun. Uh, I would repeat, uh, request Neeraj, sir, if you have any message to give to the students. Uh, I think uh, only message from my side is that, uh, rather message, I, uh, more than a message, I think it's more of a, more of a dream for me, as you know, that as many students, uh, they can get benefited through this. And, you know, I think in India, if you see the dropout ratios of students after, Especially up, you know, in rural areas after primary and in in in, in relatively semi-urban areas after twelve, mm -hmm. is, is a huge number, you know. So, uh, I think the only aspiration as an organization we have is that you know, uh, if students can continue their education beyond school and learn further, I think it will be a great uh, help to themselves and to to the whole nation as a, as a whole, you know. 
and uh, that aligns to our, our core philosophy as well you know of supporting students so i think i think only message for me is that uh, use this well and uh, you know and this is just a start and uh, you know it, mostly next year and year forwards we'll be having a much much uh, enhanced number for for this program so as many as we can support that's that's the core uh, core uh, belief we have so that's that's what we are trying to start now all right so thank you so much sir i i've just received a query from uh, one of our users uh, he is prabhat sharma he is asking can phd students apply for the scholarship i don't have income certificate what are the documents that i can submit nipun you can please take this question now phd comes after post graduation basically so yeah. we are taking application still post graduation right now mm -hmm. so Uh, really sorry you can please look after any the available scholarships the portal but uh, related to income certificate i'll just guide come uh, the income certificate you can get from your tehsildar officer which is nearby your location uh, and you can also according to your state i'm not aware about your state right now so according to your state you can uh, visit the state website and you can apply for income document online as well all right so uh, thank you so much nipun and thank you so much neeraj sir for taking out time for us and uh, giving uh, giving us insight about the scholarship program ashish sir you are on mute yeah. yeah thank you shruti and and we we congratulate again uh, mr neeraj saxena and the entire team of auxilo for launching this wonderful initiative i hope many many students will be will get benefit and and will be able to help together many uh, students with this scholarship program thank you, thank you sir i think you are doing a fantastic job uh, by by money for studies and organization and support these students thank you so thank you so thank much thank you sir thank, thank you. you thanks a lot thank you thanks 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 bye bye, bye.